Hi. Now for this question, what I've done is I've drawn the circle and marked in the coordinates that were given, minus 1, 4 and 3, 6, which are the ends of the diameter of the circle. And what we've got to do then is to try and find the equation of the circle passing through these two points. So let's just draw that diameter in across here, all right? So we've got that, something like that. Now, how are we going to find the equation of a circle? Well, what you should know is that the equation of a circle, let's just write down some basics that you should know. Equation of a circle is given like this. It's x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals r squared, where r is the radius of the circle and x1, y1 is the coordinates of the center of the circle and x, y as any point on the circumference. So to get this what I need to establish is the center of the circle then and the radius. Well the center of the circle, let's just mark it in, it's going to be say there-ish, alright? Now to get that point then this is the midpoint of the diameter. So let's start then by saying that the center of the circle will come down here. Center of circle is going to equal. Now to get a midpoint of two points you need to do the mean of the x coordinates and the mean of the y coordinates. So in other words to get the center for the x coordinate we have to do minus 1 plus 3 and divide that by 2, the mean of the x coordinates. For the y coordinate, for the center, we do the mean of the y coordinates, so that would be 4 plus 6, all divided by 2. So what does that come to? Well, minus 1 add 3 divided by 2 is going to be 1, and 4 add 6, which you know is 10, divided by 2 is 5, so the center coordinates are 1, 5. Let's just mark that in as 1, 5. So that means we've got our x1 and our y1 as being 1 and 5. All we need to get now is the radius of the circle. And to get the radius, what we can do is use Pythagoras' theorem. So the radius is equal to the square root of the difference between the x coordinates. Let's take these two. You can, you can do these two, it doesn't matter, you'll get the same distance at the end of the day. So it's the square root of the difference between the x coordinates, all squared, so that's 3 take away 1. Let's just put that down, 3 take away 1, all squared. That essentially gives you, let's just show you, it gives you this length of this right angle triangle. 3 take away 1, that gives you 2, so that length is 2. So I'm doing 2 squared and then we've got plus and we've got the difference between the y coordinates here. So that'd be 6 take away 5. This distance up here is just one unit. 6 take away 5 and we square that. So we've got the radius is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of these two sides of our right angle triangle. Okay, so if we work this out, 3 take away 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 6 take away 5 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we end up with 4 plus 1 is 5, so we've got root 5. Right, that's the radius, the radius R. So we're in a position now to give the equation of the circle C. So let's just come down here and we can say, therefore, equation of circle C is, and what is it? Okay, well, it's going to be x minus x1, which is the center, x coordinate, 1, all squared, plus y minus y1, all squared, y1 being 5, so y minus 5, all squared, equals the radius squared, and if we were to square this, it would simply equal 5. Now whether you decide to expand this is up to you, but essentially 
this is an equation of the circle and this should do you. Okay, so hopefully you follow my methods.